God bless you. This is Pat Love from Love Healing Hearts. Getting ready to read a warning from a father that he wrote to his son about the traps, the deadly traps of the world. Okay, and then I'll tell you where I'm reading it from. It's a letter he wrote. My son, <clears throat> excuse me, my son, keep my words and lay up my commandments with thee. Keep my commandments and live, and my law as the apple of thine eye. Bind them upon thy fingers, write them upon the table of thine heart. Say unto wisdom, thou art my sister, and call understanding thy kinswoman, that they may keep thee from the strange woman, from the stranger which flattereth with her words. For at the window of my house, I looked through my casement and beheld among the simple ones. I discerned among the youths a young man, void of understanding, passing through the street near her corner. And he went the way to her house in the twilight, in the evening, in the black and dark night, and beheld there met him. Excuse me, and behold, there met him a woman with the attire of a harlot and subtle of heart. She is loud and stubborn. Her feet abide not in her house. Now is she without, meaning outside, now in the streets, and lieth in wait at every corner. So she caught him and kissed him, and with an impotent face said unto him, I have peace offerings with me this day. Have I paid my vows? Therefore came I forth to meet thee diligently to seek thy face, and I have found thee. I have decked my bed with coverings of tapestry, with works with fine linens of Egypt. I have perfumed my bed with myrrhs, aloes, and cinnamon. Come, let us take our fill of love until the morning. Let us solace ourselves with love. Mm -mm -mm. For the good man is not at home. He has gone a long journey. He has taken a bag of money with him and will come home at the appointed time. With her much fair speech, she caused him to yield. With the flattering of her lips, she forced him. He goeth after her straightway as an ox goeth to the slaughter, or as a fool to the correction of the stocks, till a dart strike through his liver as a bird haste to the snare, and knoweth not that it is for his life. Hearken unto me now, therefore, ye children, and attend to the words of my mouth. Let not thine heart decline to her ways. Go not astray in her paths. For she has cast down many wounded. Yea, many strong men have been slain by her. Her house is the way to hell, going down to the chambers of death. That, my dear ones, was Proverbs chapter 7 the whole chapter from 1 to 27. Now, when they talk about the woman and flattering and all of that, we're not talking about a literal woman. We are talking about the spirit of seduction and magnetism and attraction and all the things that lure and trap you in, in the enticements of the temptations of the world. Seduction is not only about sex. Seduction is about a magnetism. It's a spirit, an underlying spirit that works. It's a demonic entity that is very strong and it's very persuasive. And it will have you thinking that doo-doo is ice cream, baby. And you will find yourself falling in love with a, with a, 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 a monster looking like an angel of light, acting
acting like an angel of light. And as he reels you in, like a good fisherman, reels you in, let you out a little bit, pull you in, let you out a little bit, pull you in until he has a lock, a stronghold on you. And you playing with it and playing with it and it plays with you and you play with it and it plays with you and next thing it locks on you and you try to get away and you can't. And it will kill you if you don't get away from this thing and you know it. But just so locked in because the spirit of seduction has got your heart and your mind that you actually believe they love you and you love them. Talk about deadly attraction, fatal attraction. That's how that stuff gets started. And my, my, the thing that breaks my heart is so many of you who even have parents in your homes, your parents won't take the time to tell you how to avoid, how to recognize those pitfalls, and how to avoid them. And I pray to God that God looses his angels into your life to protect you at every turn so that what your parents are not teaching and telling you, somebody will be placed in your pathway to warn you at every turn. God bless you. I'm done. I'm done playing mommy for the night. And I'm tired. <laughs> but please take that seriously, okay? I love you. My heart goes out to you. God keep you safe. God give you discernment. And God shower you with wisdom. You get that uneasy feeling? Run. Find any escape. Stay in a crowd. Don't get secluded. Stay in a crowd. So you can get the protection you need. Somebody will be there to help you. God bless you. And don't forget to pray. Don't forget to ask God to keep you from getting, I don't know how to say it, but to keep you from making dumb mistakes because we all make them because that's part of being young. And some of us are old and make those same dumb mistakes. So I pray to God that he will open your eyes and open your ears to hear the word, see the red flags and run as far away from the danger signs as you can. God bless you and God keep you is my prayer in the name of Jesus. Amen.